Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, you'll learn how to set up filtered views in Google Analytics. Okay, so the first thing is that you can only apply filters to standard web properties in Google Analytics. Then filters let you control what you include or exclude from your reports. For example, if you want to exclude your own sessions from showing up in your reports, then you can create a filter to exclude your IP address. As we'll see in a moment, filters are applied to your reporting views inside Google Analytics. They're a great way to customize and clean up your reports. Let's head to Google Analytics and create a filtered view. I've already logged into Google Analytics and I've selected admin. We can see the account on the left, then the property in the middle and the reporting view on the right. If you're just getting started, then you can think of an account as a folder in Google Analytics. Then your account can contain one or more properties. A property is an instance of the tracking code. If you create a new property, then you're creating an entirely new tracking code to collect data. And finally, each property can contain one or more reporting views. A view is a set of reports. And as we'll see in a moment, we can create additional reporting views that include or exclude particular data from our reports. The nice thing about creating additional reporting views is that we don't need to add or modify the tracking code on our website. The existing property and tracking code will let data flow into all of the views we've created for that property. I do need to highlight that we're going to be using a standard website property for this tutorial. If you're using an app and web property, then you won't see the view column on the very right, like we do here. App and web properties don't allow you to apply filters, so make sure you're using a standard website property. If you would like to learn more about app and web properties, then check out my extra resources in the description below this video. Okay, so I'm in my Google Analytics account. I currently have one property and I have one reporting view. So let's start by checking to see if any filters are applied to the existing reporting view. To do this, let's select filters on the right. We can see it says there's no data for this view. So that means there are no filters applied. Since there are no filters, let's rename this reporting view. Let's select View Settings. And let's name the view Loves Data Raw. This way we know that our reports contain a raw, unfiltered set of data. Now let's click Save. And now let's create a new reporting view. Let's click Create View. Let's name the view Loves Data Primary. This will be the view that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. We'll apply filters to this view to help clean up what we see in our reports. Now we need to click Create View. We can see that our new reporting view is now selected. Now let's select Filters and let's create a new filter. One of the most common filters added to Google Analytics are filters to remove our own sessions from being included in our reports. So let's name our filter Remove My IP Address. We can then choose from Predefined or Custom for our filter. Predefined filters basically cover the most common uses for filters in Google Analytics. We can choose from Exclude or Include Only. And then we can choose what we'd like to filter. So we can choose from ISP domain, IP address, subdirectories or hostname. Since we want to filter out our IP address, we would choose Exclude and Traffic from the IP addresses and then that are equal to. And then we can enter our IP address. Choosing custom gives us more options for our filter. 
Custom filters let us do the same sort of filtering that we saw when we selected predefined, but there are additional options. We can even modify how information is presented in our reports. For example, we could use custom filters to adjust how our website's URLs are displayed in Google Analytics. Today we're going to use the predefined filters, but if you would like to learn more about custom filters, then check out the extra resources in the description below this video. OK, let's select predefined. We can see that the details I previously entered are still there, so let's click Save. We can now see that our filter has been applied to our new reporting view. This means that our primary view will exclude my traffic based on the IP address used in the filter. We've created our first filtered view in Google Analytics. Now I want to show you how to create a filtered view that only contains a specific section of your website. So let's create another reporting view. Let's call this view Loves Data Blog. Let's select Filters. And let's create a new filter. Let's name the filter Only Include Blog. We're going to use another predefined filter. However, you could also achieve the same result using a custom filter. Let's select Include Only. And then let's select Traffic to Subdirectories. And that begin with. And I'm going to enter forward slash blog forward slash. This will mean that only traffic for my blog will be included in this reporting view. You can use a similar approach if you want to track different sections of your website based on another folder. And you'll also see there's an option to only include traffic for a particular subdomain on your website. It's important to highlight that you will see traffic to your subfolders or subdomains in the other reporting views. So make sure you have a clear reason for creating separate views. The more views you add, the more confusing it can be to find what you're looking for in Google Analytics. Finally, I want to show you how to create a testing view. This is useful if you're just getting started with filters, especially since filters permanently modify data. You don't want to make a mistake for your primary set of reports. To create a testing view, simply create another view for your property. And name it something like testing. You can then apply filters to this testing view to ensure that they work the way you expect before applying them to your primary or other views in Google Analytics. And before we wrap up, I want to highlight that filters only modify your data from setup moving forward. So any historical data that's already in your reports before you create the filter won't be changed. However, once you save the filter, then any data from that point on will be modified. So that's how you can set up filtered views in Google Analytics. Remember that filters permanently modify the data coming into your reports, so it's a good idea to create a testing view if you're just getting started. I also recommend that you try and keep your number of reporting views to a minimum. The more you add, the more confusing it can get inside your Google Analytics property. If you'd like to learn more about Google Analytics, then take a moment to check out the extra resources in the description below this video. Are you going to create a filtered view in Google Analytics? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.